I'm using this great new golf app called Perfect Motion, which uses your phone's camera and AI to detect swing issues and provide immediate feedback. Plus, you get access to my custom videos to help fix your problems. Use the download link below, which enters my Pro ID, K Sprecker. Adding side bend in the downswing. Adding side bend or a little bit of tilt to your spine in your downswing can help you compress the ball a little bit more, but you have to do it properly. Now, what happens sometimes with players is they stay too level or they move in front of the ball and they don't get any side bend. Side bend is, is this way. Now, side bend needs to have some rotation to it so you can get your hands forward and that will allow you to compress the ball. Side bend alone without rotation can actually make you hit behind it or hit up on the ball too much. So I want you to work on some side bend, just doing some slow swings, trying to feel your lower body go forward, and if you held the club across your shoulders, you know, getting this feel, you can, you can work on, if you put your lead hand on the club and work on swinging underneath, you can see how that automatically gives me a little bit of side bend, and I, as I add rotation, notice how my hand gets past the shaft. Well, that's where I want to be at impact. That gives me a good way to compress the ball at impact. So do a few of these exercises, just to kind of feel that, you can do it with the club across your shoulders just to feel your shoulders first. You feel how your body works. So you can see how my left side's higher than my right. That puts me into some side bend. Then do it with no ball, just some practice swings going into that position. Again, just don't, you don't want to do this. You have to have some rotation. If you don't have rotation, your hands can't get forward. And it's rotation of your hips and of your upper body. To, to get that you know, hand forward there. So you can do that, work on this, kind of do it in, in, in a series of three or four of each. Do this one three or four times. Do a practice impact three or four times. Do it without the club, without the club. Get that feeling, just to kind of learn to get into that side bend. And if you're struggling with it or you feel tight, then you should see your fitness professional to help work on some flexibility stuff. But this will definitely help you strike the ball better.